During World War II, a hot meal could mean the difference between surviving another day and, well, freezing in the mud. Yet, in a battlefield where visibility meant vulnerability, lighting a fire was often a death sentence. Smoke gave away your position, and flame was a beacon to enemy eyes. Out of this problem came one of the most ingenious wartime inventions, a portable field stove that could cook silently, invisibly and efficiently without producing smoke or flame. It wasn't magic or technology ahead of its time. It was chemistry and wartime necessity blended perfectly. This forgotten tool didn't just feed soldiers in secret. It rewrote the rulebook on battlefield survival. Throughout the early years of the war, soldiers relied on improvised cooking methods, small twig fires, fuel-soaked rags, or crude tin stoves. But on the front lines, even a whisper of smoke could draw artillery fire or sniper attention. In places like the Ardennes, North Africa, and the Pacific jungles, stealth was survival. The United States, British, and German armies all face the same question. How do you boil water or heat rations without light or smoke? Military engineers began experimenting with flameless combustion, using solid fuels that could burn hot while remaining invisible to the naked eye. By 1942, they had developed several variations of what soldiers would come to call the smokeless stove, a compact device that used controlled chemical reactions to produce heat without visible flame. At the heart of these devices was a clever piece of chemistry. Instead of traditional fuel that burned with oxygen and emitted light, these stoves relied on exothermic reactions, chemical mixes that produced heat through oxidation without combustion. The earliest versions used a fuel tablet made from hexamethylene tetramine or hexamine, a compound that burned cleanly and left almost no residue. When ignited with a spark, it generated steady heat, but emitted neither smoke nor a visible flame. Other versions used catalytic reactions, where a metal plate coated with platinum or iron oxide facilitated a slow oxidation of alcohol vapours. This process produced consistent heat without any open flame similar to the catalytic heaters used in survival gear today. British engineers refined this design for the Special Operations Executive, or SOE, allowing commandos to heat food or sterilise water in occupied territory without alerting enemy patrols. American troops received a different version a folding metal stove known as the M1942, or later the M1950 model. Though these could run on liquid fuel, many soldiers improvised flameless versions by enclosing the flame within a vented chamber lined with metal mesh. The mesh absorbed the light of the fire while allowing radiant heat to escape, effectively concealing the flame even in total darkness. The flameless field stove was a true battlefield equaliser. It allowed troops to remain hidden while still eating warm meals or purifying drinking water. Reconnaissance units, artillery observers and resistance fighters all relied on these devices for stealth operations. In Europe, Allied paratroopers carried compact esbit stoves that folded into a pocket-sized tin. They used hexamine tablets to heat canned rations, melt snow or boil coffee, all without a telltale wisp of smoke. German forces used similar equipment, often incorporating it into their mess kits. The difference was subtle but crucial. 
While one man risked a visible campfire, another ate in safety under the enemy's nose. Even in the harsh Arctic and mountainous terrain, where wood was scarce and, you know, visibility could be just deadly, these stoves proved invaluable. They could function in high winds and freezing conditions where open flames really struggled to ignite. For downed pilots and stranded tank crews, the devices provided not only heat for food, but also, well, warmth in those confined shelters where a fire would have consumed precious oxygen. Modern survivalists can, you know, take direct inspiration from this wartime technology. Recreating a smoke-free heat source is entirely possible using similar principles. One of the easiest methods involves solid fuel tablets made from hexamine or trioxane, both available as camping or emergency rations. When ignited inside a small metal container or windscreen, these fuels produce intense heat without visible smoke. For a DIY approach, you can also create a catalytic-style heater using steel wool and alcohol. Place a small amount of isopropyl alcohol in a metal tin and suspend fine steel wool above it. As the vapours oxidise, the steel wool will glow and generate heat without producing a visible flame. This method, based on the same science as Second World War catalytic stoves, works for boiling small amounts of water or drying damp clothing. However, always use such systems in well-ventilated areas. While smokeless, they still consume oxygen and can release carbon monoxide in enclosed spaces. It's the same safety principle that soldiers followed in bunkers. Ventilate, monitor, and never underestimate chemical reactions. After the war, the principles behind flameless stoves evolved into more sophisticated field cooking systems. The military's meal, ready-to-eat packets, use a direct descendant of this concept, a magnesium iron reaction that heats food pouches without flame. When a few drops of water hit the chemical pad, it begins an exothermic reaction, producing enough heat to cook a meal silently. The lineage traces straight back to the flameless field stoves of the Second World War. Outdoor and expedition gear. Manufacturers also borrowed these wartime ideas. Modern catalytic heaters, alcohol burners and compact solid fuel stoves all share the same DNA. What began as a survival tool for soldiers in foxholes became a cornerstone of modern off-grid living and emergency preparedness. For those interested in practical application, experimenting with these systems can teach valuable lessons in chemical heat management. Knowing how to generate heat without smoke or light can be vital for stealth camping, survival training or disaster readiness. The chemistry that kept soldiers alive under fire can just as easily keep a hiker warm in the wilderness. The field stove that worked without smoke or flame wasn't just a clever gadget. It represented the essence of wartime ingenuity. It showed how survival often depended not on brute force, but on quiet intelligence. Soldiers learned that heat didn't have to roar to be effective, and that the best tools were often the simplest. Today, this forgotten device stands as a lesson in practicality for anyone interested in history, survival, or self-reliance. It reminds us that true innovation doesn't always shine bright. It can glow quietly in the dark, sustaining life where fire would invite death. The flameless field stove is one of those remarkable wartime inventions that rarely makes it into documentaries, yet its influence burns on in every modern survival kit. From covert operations to off-grid living, its legacy is a testament to human creativity under pressure.
If you found this story as fascinating as we did, make sure to subscribe to Echoes of Valor. Share this video with fellow history enthusiasts and keep these stories alive. Because the greatest lessons from history aren't always loud. They're often found in the quiet hum of a hidden stove, keeping hope alive in the cold.